Here at our center, the concept of clinical trial is introduced at the very beginning. Every single process that's involved in a particular clinical trial is discussed with the patient. There are many types of clinical trials. Uh, surgical interventions are studied. There are devices that are studied. It could be a diagnostic test, which helps us to diagnose a particular cancer earlier. Or it could be supportive treatment to minimize the side effects of chemotherapy. And then there are actually treatment trials where we're looking at different types of drugs. Clinical trial happens in three phases. Phase one includes a small number of patients. Phase two is a larger study. Phase three is multi-institutional. All three are conducted here at our cancer center. There are several questions that a patient should ask their doctor if they're thinking about a clinical trial. Firstly, if a provider does not offer clinical trials, they should ask what clinical trials are available to them. They should be asking what the purpose of the clinical trial is, as well as what the risks and benefits are to them. A few other things that a patient might want to think about before participating in a clinical trial is who sponsored the clinical trial, who approved the clinical trial, what their responsibility might be, as well as whether or not they'll need to stay in a hospital during the clinical trial. There are a number of safety features built into how we watch over the effects of clinical trials. We have an institutional review board, or IRB, and they follow the patients through the whole way to make sure that they are safe. We're monitoring very, very closely to make sure that they are safe and at all times well cared for. For that reason, a research nurse and a clinical coordinator are assigned to them. They follow them through every step of the process. They're very specifically trained to understand all the aspects of a protocol. And the research staff also ensures that all these appointments are made in a very convenient fashion so that the patient doesn't need to worry about calling multiple numbers. A DSMB is a safety review board and it's a group of usually physicians. They watch very closely over patient care, making sure that there's no adverse events. When patients are deciding whether or not to go on a clinical trial, it really is very important that it is convenient for them to get their treatment. It's important that they go to a place where they have all services available. When patients become involved in a clinical trial, informed consent is required. For people who volunteer to participate need to remember is that it's a voluntary process. They can exit the clinical trial at any time. There will be no ramifications for them. They will continue to get standard of care therapy and we will support them and take care of them and make sure they get the care that they need and deserve at any point in time, whether they choose to stay on the clinical trial or they do not. We have come a long way because of clinical trials. The amazing cancer treatments that we have today is a result of clinical trials that were conducted yesterday. It's how all the medicines that we use these days have come to be. Clinical trials are what brought them to us.